Open a My World account on the African Bank app and enjoy zero monthly fees and six transactional accounts in one. Zwagala to the bank that believes in you. African Bank, audacity to believe. How's it going, TMS family? We've touched down in London for our exclusive conversation with Musa Mota after his experience on Britain's Got Talent. Josi got to speak to him after the group Golden Buzzer, and we are here to speak to him about his entire BGT experience. So thank you so much for giving us your time and joining us on The Morning Show. Thank you. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Everything is coming into order, you know. Yeah, yeah it's finally happening. Now, let's talk about this journey, right? Look, at African Bank, they have built their business on the audacity to believe. And when your video went viral, we saw that same audacity in you. Let's talk about Mfanagasi, Mfanagasi Booking, coming all the way to the UK, becoming the success that you are today. Run us through that journey. I was watching my videos, you know, on YouTube and stuff, and I, I came across like the old, old videos when I was like still doing Ispujo, you yeah. know, with my friend. Yeah. And then I remember like, that was the base that I actually built. I was preparing myself for now. Yeah. You know, it might be like 10 years ago, but now it's happening and I'm actually referring and using the tools that I've learned, you yeah. know, throughout that journey. I've realized that a lot of things that are actually happening in my life are happening because I took charge, yeah. you know, took charge, courage. The journey was not really that smooth, it was like mm. a fluctuating thing going on. At the end of the day, man, you know, it's happening, you know, I've been, I'm, I'm the type of person who, when I think about it, I just feel it. If I feel it, I want it. If I want it, I need it. And if I realize that I need it, then go I go for, for it. it. I would ask you for like, yo, what do you think about this? Sure. And then usually people are like, no, nah, I don't think you you should do that. The moment you say stop, bro, it's like you're putting a gas on the pedal. Yeah, bro. and you go you know? for it. <laughs> yeah. like, ah, let's see now. Exactly. <laughs> That's how I got here. Then you go through that tough period in your life after being diagnosed with cancer, then your leg needing to be amputated, and then the decision to dance. That conversation with your mom, how did it go? Yeah, obviously she tried to stop me. I mean, I've been dancing for like more than 10 years. Half of the 10 years, she's been like, nah, I'm not approving this. But I understand because like, she's a mom. Whatever that I went through, she's like referring to everything like, yo bro, you know where you're coming from. Yeah. You deserve like an yeah. A-class life. I tried to go to school, yeah, when I did my like my um, diploma in chemical engineering, sure. but after that, I'm like, nah, bro. Here's your certificate. I'm doing what yeah, I want like, to do. You know what I mean? I didn't even finish the course, sure. you know, because I, I like I felt that that was something that I feel I want to do it. I think Darren's called me, you know, because after that, that was it, you know. Britain's Got Talent. That experience must have been like crazy, <laughs> wild experience for you, right? But there's something that I noticed in your performances, and that's storytelling. How did you decide what stories you were going to tell in the different performances that you had? I always say dance is it's like a purpose for me. You know, performing is a purpose for me. Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't plan a story. I just get into the studio, choreograph something, sure. come up with like the whole sequencing thing, and then I just perform and then people will be like, oh, your story was amazing. And I'm like, mm. I don't know what story I was telling, <laughs> you know, but... So it's just a flow for yeah, you? Yeah, it's a flow. Okay. I guess because there was some incident that I came across. Okay. Like, there was this other guy, like, after my performance, back at home though, he was crying, he came to me and he gave me a hug. He was like, you saved my life. Sure. I'm like, are you really telling this story? And then I was like, what's going on? He was like, he's so depressed. And then that was his last day of like, perf like having fun outside and all of that. After that, he was gonna go home and commit suicide. But because of like what he just saw on stage, sure. he was like, you changed my life, you just saved my life, but sure. I'm gonna go back to my wife and my kids and apologize for like what I was gonna do. How many of that person have I reached, you know, ever since I was performing? Mm. 
Yeah. So if I stop, imagine how many people are going to be break. Yeah. Yeah. Hence you say, found you. Dan yeah, found man. you. It's your calling. Yeah, that moment where you got the group buzzer. The judges were like, we don't have, we run out, we run out. And the crowd is just like, yay, find it from somewhere. And you could see in your face that you're just like, what's happening? Take me through that moment when the crowd is just, you know, asking the judges to hit the group golden buzzer together and you realizing what happened in that moment. Just take us back to that space. I don't think that video did justice. Yeah. Like of what happened there. In that moment. I couldn't yeah. even hear the judges when they were speaking. Sure. It was so loud, bro. People were standing, like cheering my name, clapping, mm, and it was a raucous. Yeah. It was like really loud. Immediately, I thought about like the dream that I had with the dance crew that we had back then, mm. Dynamics Entertainment. Mm. We wanted to have that moment, you know. Like, we wanted to go to America, got talent, showcase our style. But I was like, this is happening and they're not here, you know? Mm. And then other things that had, like, that came through, because I prayed about it. Today, it's just about me and God. This is what you actually wanted me to do. It broke me down into tears. I don't know yeah. why, but I, was, I got so emotional. Yeah. And then, as soon as I fell down on, on the stage, I kneeled down. The first thing I did, I prayed. You know, I was praying that they don't want to move. Sure. You know? <laughs> I just imagined a voice coming out of nowhere saying like, okay, this is the beginning. Mm, I've you know? got you. Yeah. Sure. And then, yeah, that was it, man. Like in South Africa, we're celebrating Youth Month. And the youth in South Africa is finding themselves in like a very tumultuous space. You know, yeah. some people have lost hope. Some people are just feeling like maybe their breakthrough is not on the way. If you could like just share words of encouragement with them. If they were sitting in this room right before you, what would you say to them? Be careful of your choices and believe in your dreams. Dreams do come true. Yeah. The reason why you have a dream is because the reflection in the universe. And again, people don't realize that the prayer without a belief, it's like a conversation or maybe watching a TV on a mute. We need to believe. Believe it's more of like sending the frequencies to your universe. That's what the language that the universe understands. All right, that was Musa Mota with us right here on The Morning Show. Still in conversation with him, still more days to spend with him. So stay with us, we'll be right back with a whole lot more on TV. I'm, I'm the true believer and a true example of breaking the word impossible into two. I am possible. I thank you so much. financial freedom for you and the most important people in your life with the my world account from african bank as sa's first bank account made to share you will get to enjoy up to six transactional accounts with zero monthly fees plus earn interest on a positive bank balance zwagala to the bank that believes in you easily open up an account online no need for a deposit fee to activate your account african bank audacity to believe